Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing is we're using multiplication to find the volume of solids. Now, yesterday we, we were talking about layers and discussing layers and finding the volume of each layer. And the fact that we had a certain number of layers, we multiplied that volume of each layer by the number of layers. Same thing's going on here. But the first thing we discussed was length, width, and height of our solid. So the length, I had the kids bracket in, the length, and the width would be this guy over here, and a height, how tall something is, over here. And then we found some numbers, some dimensions. Okay, and everything's in centimeters for this particular problem. So one, two, three, four, five. I have five centimeters as my length. One, two, I have two centimeters as my width. And I have one, two, three, four centimeters as my height. Okay? So now I have to decide uh, what I would like to multiply first. But let me put these in here. So I have a four, and I have a two, and my length was five. What I'd like to multiply first. What layer would I like to deal with? Let's deal with this layer right here. So this layer is a has a height of four and a width of two. So in this case, I have a four times a two. That's the volume of my layer, and that's going to give me eight. Now the big question is, how many layers do I have? Well, I have, that's my second layer, third layer, fourth layer, and fifth layer. Each of those layers having a volume of eight uh, centimeters cubed. So I'm going to take that eight, or that four times two. I'm going to multiply by 5, which means that 8 is multiplied by 5, and I get 40, 40 centimeters cubed. Once again, I found out that this layer, or slice, has a volume of 8, and since I have 5 such layers, that's 5 sets of 8, which gives me 40. Okay? So that's how that works. Now, you could multiply in another, uh, another way. Perhaps, in this case, for the second one, you'd like to deal with this layer over here. Well, in this case, since I have a width of 2, and I have a length of 3, and I have a height of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I can find this particular layer first. And this is a 3 by 2. 3 by 2. So that's going to give me 6 as my volume for that layer. But I have 5 such layers, so I'm going to multiply that by 5. And that gives me 30 centimeters cubed. Okay? And all the other information you can fill in on your own. But that's basically how it works. Okay? Now below, they'd like you to just write out a full a multiplication sentence. So for D, let's work that one. I have a length, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have a height of 1, 2, 3 centimeters. And have a width of 3 centimeters. And in order to calculate my volume, I'll take any two. Let's say I'd like to deal with this layer right here. That would be an 8 times a 3. It has a height of 3 and a length of 8. I'm going to bracket those. I'm going to multiply that by the width, which means I have three such layers. And then I can find my little 24 here times a 3. And on the side, I can multiply that out. And I get a 72. But don't forget your units. And this is measured in centimeters cubed. OK. So that's the deal. Cruising down a little bit, I just want to talk about this last piece, because this talks about area a bit. Um, here we're giving a face area, which means if I was to draw a quick sketch, they're giving us the area of the face, one of the faces, any of the faces, really doesn't really matter, but let's say it's this face here. And they're telling us, look, this is 56 uh, meters squared, or squared meters. And uh, we have four such layers of that. Okay, so they're giving us the layer. They're giving us a layer of 56. And the last dimension is letting us know that we have four such layers. So in other words, in this case, to find the volume, I'm going to take the area, which in essence is really the volume of the first layer, or the, or the layer that the 56 is created from, or calculated from. And I'm going to multiply that by 4, because I'm going to have four such layers. And once I calculate that, I'm in pretty good shape. So on the side here, I can take my 56, I can multiply that by 4. And I have my 24 there, and the 22 right here. And it looks like I have 224 meters cubed, because that's my volume measured in cubed. Okay. 
So that's the deal. All right, folks. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.